This is big breaking inputs coming in regarding uh, U.S. presidential elections. President Donald Trump has now sought a delay to the November's presidential election. He's been accused of making uh, unsubstantiated allegations uh, that increased mail-in voting will result in fraud. So uh, this is the argument that uh, President Trump is going ahead, that this would encourage fraud. He's tweeted out here on this saying that with universal mail-in voting, 2020 will be the most inaccurate, the most fraudulent election in history. It will be a great embarrassment to the USA. Delay the election until people can properly step out, securely and safely vote. Unquote to that tweet. Let's get in a word here. We have with us our managing editor, Vinay Tiwari, getting us that input here uh, to, to what extent it's possible. Uh, Vinay, this is an idea that the president, the US president has floated. He's trying to gain in more uh, support for this argument, but we've not seen this happening. It's, it's, it's well established. Does the presidential office really have the powers, the executive powers to do this? We haven't seen this happening in civil war and World War II to the presidential elections in the US. Absolutely. And the uh, U.S. is perhaps one of those few countries where the date of the election is enshrined as part of their constitution. So that's a date that has never been changed, as you rightly said. Uh, and it's not something that can change uh, unless uh, the Congress, which holds the power, uh, actually passes a vote on the floor of the House to actually change the vote, which has never really happened before. So uh, there are two things, Sahir, that is very important. Number one, the White House has not officially commented on it. And with Donald Trump mm -hmm. uh, being the kind of person he is, uh, sometimes it's not even certain whether the person actually means what he says uh, or even understands the implication of what he says. Because what it has done, it has actually thrown the entire political process into a bit of a tailspin. And remember, it's very eerily similar to the kind of controversy that happened in India, where uh, there was a proposal by the government to actually have more postal ballots in the Bihar elections uh, as a measure to counter the problems that we may face during the COVID uh, crisis. Mm. Uh, much of the same kind of controversy, but this time it's come from the ruling president himself. Right. Uh, and that's what has made the Democrats extremely unhappy. In fact, some of the objections that are coming in are straight away uh, from the Democrats who see this as an attempt uh, by a president who a lot of people believe is losing some bit of the ground uh, because of the way in which he has handled the COVID pandemic over the last four months or so, Sahir. Right. Uh, but Vinay, you, you stated that the only possibility that this could happen is for the, for the Congress to be voting here along the lines of what President Trump is looking at. Uh, given how the Congress is placed right now in the equation between the Republicans and the Democrats, is this really a possibility? Can this come about? Very, very bleak, sir. Uh, you're absolutely right. In fact, it's never really happened before where the Congress has actually altered the date, uh, as you were mentioning as well. It's never really happened. So even if there is a theoretical possibility of that happening, it's something that has never happened before. And in a very fractious uh, politics that uh, that uh, U.S. currently has, uh, mm -hmm. it's very unlikely that you will actually have something like this happening. But the very fact that he has made this kind of a statement, even if it was uh, a little off the cuff or without him understanding the import of this, it kind of tells you uh, that the political atmosphere or the, or, the, or the temperature in U.S. has changed a little bit. Because remember, just about four months ago, uh, Mr. Trump was looking like somebody who was, uh, you know, despite internationally being pilloried and, and being uh, kind of uh, joked about uh, in the way he tends to talk, uh, he, a lot of the political pundits in U.S. believed that he was on a firm ground, uh, and that he was doing fairly well. But in the manner in which the government has handled the corona pandemic, right. uh, the critics of the government have increased. In fact, just day before yesterday, he went on a rant against Fox News, which he personally has always been in support of and he tends to love. And he uses, used to pr uh, openly praise the channel for being pro-president. Uh, for the first time, he right. seemed to have been upset about the way Fox was covering. Now, Fox, in that sense, is a bit of a bellwether channel in the United States. And if they uh, become a little critical of the president, uh, you can clearly imagine that things are not all right for Mr. Trump. All right. Uh, Managing Editor Vinay Tiwari, many thanks for getting us that insight here. Uh, in this tweet, uh, which, which is now uh, literally uh, taken the Democrats by shock, something that an idea that he was toying with, but can he really have the support to actually change the date of the presidential elections?